mishap that took place with the lighting system. The lifespan of the business depends on the partnership deed. Partnership deed there refers to the agreement that was entered in by the partners. What was specified in that agreement? Was the partnership business going to last for 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, etc. So the lifespan of the business depends on that agreement that is in the partnership deed. And then number six, the business is controlled and managed by the partners. All the partners are directly or indirectly involved in the management of the business or are specified by the partnership uh, agreement, otherwise known as partnership deed. Having said that, it's time for us to look at sources of capital for partnership. In other words, we are talking about sources of finance for partnership business. The first source of finance for partnership business is personal contributions from the partners. The monies that the partners bring together, bring to the table for the business to be operated on successfully. Number two is loan and overdraft from banks. Sometimes the business may not have adequate funding and so the partners need to go extra mile to fund the business by getting loans and overdrafts from the banks. Just like what uh, the sole proprietors, sole proprietors did. Sometimes they also get straight credit from the wholesalers. They get goods on loan so that they can make payments later as they sell. And then number four, undistributed profits. When the business has made profits, sometimes they don't share these profits. They plow it back to the business. In other words, they reinvest it back into their business. They can decide to hold on with the sharing of the profits so that the business can have more funding through the profits that have been made so far. And then another way they can also get more capital to run their business is to admit new partners. Sometimes a partnership business may have started with just five persons, but there may be need for additional funding. So they decide that they are now going to admit 10 more persons that are interested in the business. Because these partners will come in with their resources, financial resources, and it will help the business to expand. Having said that, we are going to look at the advantages, or what I may call the merits of partnership. Merits of partnership, the first one on the board is sufficient capital. Unlike sole proprietorship, partnership involves more persons. More persons means more money, isn't it? You will agree with me that two heads are better than one. So when two to 20 persons come together with their financial resources, it means that the capital is also uh, larger than what we would have had in sole proprietorship. And then number two is increase in production. In the same vein, sufficient capital leads to sufficient production. Increase in production output. Number three is better management. As the saying still goes, two heads are better than one. One person may not have the complete knowledge to know what is best for a business. But when that head rocks mind with another head, there is that potential of coming up with better business decisions that will help in the effective management of the business. So that is the advantage of partnership. And then number four is sharing of risks and liability. The risk involved in the business is not borne by one person alone as the case is in sole proprietorship. But partners share the risk. When there are losses, one person does not bear the loss alone. And the loss will be significantly less for one person to be alone. So that is an advantage for partnership. Many partners share the losses. 
And when there are profits as well, they all share. And then there are better chances of continuity for partnership business. Why? Because partnership business is not owned by one person. A non-active partner may die. Other partners that are more active can still keep the business running. And so the business has a better chance of survival than sole proprietorship. The sixth one is that there is greater possibility of expansion, which is self-explanatory. More resources put together by various partners means that the business can also expand as well. However, there are disadvantages or demerits of partnership. The first disadvantage of partnership is that there is unlimited liability of partners. Because the business is not distinct from the owners, anything that happens to the business affects all the partners directly. They share the responsibility of the business. If the business goes down, everybody goes down. If the business does well, everybody um, is also bound to enjoy the process of the business. And then there are disagree if there are disagreements between partners, it can lead to the end of the business. Sometimes partners may have personal disagreements over issues. These disagreements can make a partner want to pull out of the business. It can just be that a partner doesn't has developed a kind of dislike for another partner and will be like, because I don't want to see your face any longer and this business is making us to see, I think it's better I quit so that I will not see your face. And if that partner had the major part of resources that the business was depending on, what do you think will happen to that business when the partner pulls out? The business will suffer dissolution. And then the decision making may be slow and long. You see, because partnership is not a one-man business, two or many heads always come together to brainstorm in order to decide the fate of the business. In the course of brainstorming, they usually disagree to agree. In the course of disagreeing to agree, a lot of time is spent. And because of that, the, the, the decision that will be finally taken becomes slow, becomes slow. Number four is inability to raise sufficient capital from members of the public. Okay, let me stop here. Inability to raise sufficient capital. Now, because partnership is not a limited liability company, they cannot offer their shares to members of the public to buy as a means to raise additional capital to fund their business. So this is one of the disadvantages of partnership. And then the fifth disadvantage is that the action of one partner is binding on others. All the partners have a share in the business and they have rights as specified by the partnership deal. However, if one partner decides to go rogue, decides to do something funny, it will affect the business. And the, once the business is affected, every other partner of that business is also affected. The decision of one partner is binding on others. And then number six, the death, bankruptcy, or insanity of a partner may lead to the dissolution of the business. It may lead to the end of that business. When an active partner, for example, dies, the business may not function properly anymore. Or if insanity strikes, where the person is no longer mentally fit to run the business, and so on, it may lead to the termination of that business. These are the advantages or the disadvantages rather of partnership. 
Now, before we conclude on the lesson for today, I would like us to take a recap of what we've done so far. We started with the first business organization called Soul Proprietorship, and we were made to understand that Soul Proprietorship is a business owned, managed, and financed by one person. We talked about the features of Soul Proprietorship and the advantages and disadvantages, which I believe you still have them. And then we looked at partnership to mean a business managed owned and run by 2 to 20 persons. We have been able to also look at the features of partnership, the sources of finance, the advantages and the disadvantages. Before we go, I would like to drop this assignment with you on the board. So stay put. Okay, the first question there is, list and explain types of partners. In partnership business, there are types of partners. I want you to identify them and explain them for me. And then the second question is, state the rights of partners in partnership business. I'm looking forward to receiving these assignments and marking them. Um, this brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Continue to stay safe until we meet again. Thank you.